Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Thursday morning. Well, sitting here having my iced coffee. I heated my coffee up and I tried it on ice. It ain't bad. I actually didn't put enough iced in. I should have put some more in there. I was looking for the little pencil. Oh, here you go, real. Here, here, get ready for work. How y'all doing this morning? Well, Miss K gonna get right into this daily bread, y'all. And it is coming out of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 12. Okay? That's Proverbs chapter 11, verse 12. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor. But a man of understanding whole of his peace. God is always on time, y'all. But I'm going to finish reading this. So I got the reflection. I wrote some stuff. I wrote it down. Now this is pertaining to Proverbs chapter 11 and 12. Today is August the 12th. Happy Thursday. It is easy to lash out at others as knee-jerk reaction, but it takes wisdom and patience to hold our tongues or hold our peace. It is not always the right time and place to shout out ac accusations at others, even when others are in the wrong. Okay. And it matters also the manner in which we deal with others as to their faults. Okay. Teach me, O oh Lord, to be patient with others, kind and forgiving, and tender hearted and meek. When it is right for me to speak out over a wrong done by someone else, help me to do it in the right way. Help me to know when to hold my peace and when to speak out. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Lord, I ain't accomplished that one yet. So I ask y'all to pray for me with that one. Learning when to speak. When to speak out when someone else is wrong. You know somebody done said something, right? But you can't feed into it. I done told people about these YouTube streets. Be getting on these platforms and running your mouth. Talking about people. But I'm going to put it to you like this. To each his own. You can do what you want to do on your platforms. But I told, I ask people when you come to my line. What goes on in my life stays in my life. And if you got anything to say when you're not in my life, make sure it's positive, uplifting, and encouraging. Here we go again. So I'm going to put it to you like this, Miss K. Going to let it. I'm going to give it to the Lord. And we're not going to say nothing. But like it says, please. Pray for this sister right here to know when to speak and help me to do it in the right way. Pray for that. Now, I'm asking the Lord to do that. No one else. I'm praying to the Lord for him. Some people tend to step overstep their boundaries a little bit. And like I always say, it's not easy being a Christian. And you're going to have people always, the ones that sit up in your face and watch you. And communicate with you through, you know, this YouTube stuff. They're not always for you. Y'all, the devil come in all shape, forms, and fashions. Just be ready for it. Because they be wanting to test your waters and see how you going to do and how you going to react. So, Miss K ain't going to say too much or nothing. But I put it to you like this. I love you. And God loves you more. He said, bless those that curse you. Okay. So, I'm going to bless each and every one, and I want y'all to have a blessed and wonderful day.
And I hope you enjoyed the daily bread. Now, Kay getting ready to get up out of here because she has to go to the store before she goes to work. And then I have to get to work. So y'all have a blessed day. And y'all hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread now. I didn't say this. The Lord said it. Have a blessed day. Shh. <laughs>